we've got tornadoes coming and it's a big line of tornadoes and very likely gonna have touchdown in our area. Hey everybody and welcome back to Lining Up Ducks. I thought this might be something you were interested in seeing. Since we live in an RV tiny house, yet we don't have a truck to just hook up our house and pull it away, we have to kind of button it down and batten down the hatches for a storm. So I thought you would be able to, I thought you'd be interested in to see. I have run out of time. I thought I had until about three o'clock. So now we are hair on fire, throw it all together, yank the slides in and get out of here. We always make sure to pack all of our valuables and items that are irreplaceable, like my work computer, jewelry, and important documents. Then we just toss some clothes into a packing cube for Scott and I, and then I can start getting the rest of the house closed up. Here's a tiny living tip. Once we moved to tiny living, we gave away all but two hard-sided suitcases and went into using space-saving packing cubes for our overnight and weekend trips. One cube will hold clothes for both Scott and I for two days, and the other cube will hold clothes for the four girls for two days. They are lightweight and take almost no room to store. I've got a link in the description box below if you want to check them out. Ah! It's already started raining and I haven't done the outside yet. I'm gonna go run outside and try to get that done quickly. The outside, we just put away all of our loose things and chairs so they don't blow away with any of the winds. Here is one of our pro RV storm prep tips. Have a large empty bin, like these storage bins, to just quickly toss everything into. It makes storm prep really quick and easy. We use these large yellow and black bins to organize everything for our outside gear, like our bag chairs, grill items, and the girls' outside toys. Of course, my girls' bedroom is a hot mess and a bag of chips, but you get to see real life. It's normally a quick process to get the girls' room ready to pull in the slides, but only if it's neat and tidy. And that only happens for about five minutes twice a day after cleanup time. As I'm cleaning up, I'm quickly grabbing the girls' blankets and clothes to take with us to the hotel. I'm tossing everything they left out into an empty laundry basket that they'll put away everything when they get home. All I have to do is push their stairs into the center of the room and pick up the curtains and move the slides in. We are six people living in just over 400 square feet. It cleans up really fast, but it gets messier way faster. Now, if we were actually moving the RV, I would actually be, I would actually have started with a clean house. But since we're just closing up for a storm, this is pretty much all we have to do. Although it is easier when the house is clean. I prep the house in a specific order, so I am certain not to forget anything important. Okay, it's time for our slide now. Here's a tiny house myth totally busted for you. If you are a messy housekeeper in a larger home, you will not magically become a neat and tidy housekeeper in a tiny house. Totally thought that would happen to me when we got rid of 85% of our things, but no, I can still make a mess. Someone please send help, seriously, I need a collaboration with a clean up your space routines YouTuber ASAP. Someone share this with your favorite clean house YouTuber. I'm just pulling the furniture out of the way that would keep the slides from coming in before I pull in the kitchen and the den slides. All right, we are all closed up and headed to the hotel. And um, I just the last thing to do is cut off all the lights, cut off the air conditioner, just in case the power goes out so we don't have a power surge. And that's it. 
it really only takes about 30 minutes when the house is neat and tidy. I'm working on it, right? I'm working on it. So anyway, I thought this might be an interesting peek into our lives. Thank you so much for joining us in our lives and in our homes. You are always a blessing. And I'll see you on the other side of this storm.